finally came to. Ten days have passed since that terrible accident. But I only found you the day before yesterday. You were lying in the snow, and I brought you here. You've been asleep for two days, you know. I, I just can't figure it out. How did you manage to stay alive for eight days? Looks like you were eating regularly, too. So strange. I found you pretty far away from the crash site. Um, do you remember anything? Kimberly. Kimberly Fox. I'll uh, talk to you more later. You must be tired. Seems like you were having a lot of nightmares, too. You all right? I'm Parker. Parker Jackson. You two must be survivors of that plane crash. Are you hurt? Don't touch me. Get out of here. Just a minute. What, what do you think you're doing? Get the hell out of here. Wait. I haven't blossomed yet. Blossomed? 
Come on. Didn't it look like flowers were blooming from that monster? You both saw it, and there's more just like it out there. He's not the only one. What exactly was that thing? Who the hell knows? Some of them look like they might have been passengers from the crash. But the monsters got to them, and as you can see, they turn into... Monsters? Yeah. They blossom. They've turned into monsters, too. Get out. Look, I, I, like I said... I'll shoot. I swear I'll shoot. Look, unless we work together, we won't get out of here alive. I will shoot! All right, I'll go. Now. All right. I get it. But listen up. And listen good. You may be armed. But there's only one way to tell whether someone's human or not. And that's by the color of their blood. Those things bleed green. But to see any blood, you've got no choice but to shoot. And you've got to do it fast because they'll be on you in a flash. We don't know much of anything yet. Should we shoot everything that looks like this creature? And what if it looks human and bleeds green? There may be monsters that bleed red for all we know. What are we supposed to do then? We don't know whether everything that looks like a monster always has green blood. Maybe some are still human inside. Maybe they can revert back to humans again. We don't have any answers. All I can say is, survive. Get out of this godforsaken place alive. Be careful, both of you. Watch your back. I'm sorry. I wish... If I could... Damn it. I'm sorry about that. We're both in the same boat, I guess. I just don't know what to do, or how to do it. Maybe that man feels the same way. Everyone who survived feels that way. They had no idea what to do. Maybe you're better off than others, not remembering anything. Hey, do you remember anything, anything about Janny? Hmm? Janny, the little girl I found you with. You were both lying there, in the snow, and you were trying to protect her. Oh, I brought you both back here, but she wandered off when I wasn't looking. She may know something about you, and she may still be around here, just hiding. Maybe you could take a look outside. You won't be able to walk too far in the snow. And the area is surrounded by forest and a sheer drop, but... I'll wait here. Be careful, okay? Wait. Hmm? You can't go out like that. There's monsters all over the place. <sighs> A rifle's not enough. Take the semi-automatic over there.
ever fired a gun before? Give it a try. You think it's cruel? I did too at first. But you know, I spoke with this Norwegian hunter in a tavern, and he said, even rabbits and mice have killer instinct, and that there's no such thing in this world as absolute prey or an absolute predator. He also said that it's an energy, kind of a focused awareness that binds life together. So I guess we better stay on our guard at all times to survive. To feed the flame of instinct with the fuel of life, was the way he put it. The reason why consuming meat gives the body strength is because the urge to kill and the energy of life embodies the flesh. <laughs> or something like that. I, well, I guess what I'm trying to tell you is to eat a lot and get better soon. <laughs> Come on, aim straight and take a shot. Right. You got it. Um, shoot that way. Um, there's two more over there.